Awesome. Well, welcome everybody. Uh, we're so excited to have this presentation and overview again. I think this is our third our third one. Um, every week we've been having these because we have so much interest in my Genius Lead software, which is really helping so many of us grow our current businesses. But what's really cool is that there is a free affiliate side to this. And so if you are somebody in um, a space like network marketing or affiliate marketing, social selling, um, or just any industry that you feel like, yeah, I wouldn't want to turn a, turn away some extra income, then this is such a great fit because it is compliant with other companies because it's actually tools that will help you build those other businesses. So we just wanted to share a little bit of information with you today. There is a lot of different tools, but we want to just show you kind of the backbone of how it works, um, giving you guys just a, a really inside view of what you can see the potential and possibility of using the tools and also Remember that there is an affiliate side just for sharing with others. Uh, so with that, I'll kick it off. My name is Gina Redzanik, and I have been using these tools for several months. Um, I wanted to just share a little bit about how I saw this um, being marketed. Um, and it was through a new friend that sent me a friend request on Facebook, uh, sent me a nice general message. I replied to her. And because we were new friends, I immediately started to see her content. And this is really important. Um, now, some of her content was probably about another company that she's with, which was health and wellness. I'm with health and wellness. So that didn't really catch my eye. But she also started to share stories about automation and generating new leads and getting right in front of the right audience. And at that particular time, I was spending so much time trying to kind of cultivate that new audience. I don't know if you guys can relate, but I was feeling like I was constantly preaching to the same choir and those people already knew what I was doing um, and they weren't really the, the audience that I was looking for for a new project I was working on. So anyway, I reached out to this new friend and I asked her about it. Well, it turns out this software actually connected me to her. So right away, I already knew that it worked because we had no mutual friends. Um, she would never have been able to connect with me otherwise. Um, and honestly, she told me, you're, if I looked at your profile, I don't know if I would have had the, the confidence, the courage to reach out and send you a message. So it's great that the tool does this for me. So right away, I was like, well, it works. I need it. And my third question to her was, does this have an affiliate side? Because if you don't ask that question nowadays, you need to. If you're using something, ask, does this have an affiliate side? Because why not get paid to share something that you already use and love? So that's how I got started. I was primarily using the tools to connect with a new audience and to boost my algorithm for a project I was working on with a book and I was recruiting authors. Um, I immediately shared it with people I knew in my industry, close friends, um, said, listen, I know we're all feeling stuck and stagnant and we need a new audience and we need automation. We need to save time. Check out these tools. So that's kind of how I started sharing it. It has become great source of income coming in as extra income while I'm able to still do the other businesses that I have and that I'm running, but it also helps me run those businesses. So I kind of call it a win-win and a no-brainer, um, but I also wanted to have my friend Lacey just speak on how it's helped her because immediately uh, Lacey and I have that kind of friendship. We share everything and sometimes we'll say, no, thanks, that's not for me. And other times we're like, yes, we're all in. And this was something that she took advantage of right away. So Lacey, if you could just share, you know, kind of as somebody from your background, you could share a little about, about your background, why this has helped you so much and the benefits that you've seen so far. Awesome. Thank you so much, Gina. And thank you for sharing this with me. Um, Gina shared this with me. And I got to tell you, um, I am a beauty professional by trade. I am not a techie person. And if you can relate to that, put a one in the chat. If you're not a techie person, put a one in the chat. Um, because I don't have a tendency to like technology and, um, I really didn't want to spend as much time on social media as I was. And so what this allowed me to do was maximize my algorithm. And immediately I started seeing new people on my feed, new people were commenting on my posts and on my stories. And so, whereas for months and months and months, it was always the same people and always the same people. And I know a lot of you can relate to that. So um, I began using it. I really plugged into the training. I've been using it since about the spring now. 
And um, there are so many tools. There's training literally every day. So for even a hairdresser like me, um, it has been made so simple, but really just maximized my time and effort. I mean, like I set up my software this morning and then I went and dropped my daughter off at school, went to the gym, went for a walk, all while my software was working. And this is huge for people who are social selling or even marketing any way in any way online. You know, when I was a new hairstylist, I hit the streets. You know, I literally went out searching for businesses. I would take my card into places and stuff like this. And this is like a current day way of doing that. Um, it just makes so much sense. And it was just so smart. So that's kind of how I got started into it and why I'm so excited about it. Thank you, Lacey. And so now Lacey and I are building an affiliate team because we just find it to be one of those opportunities that, um, you know, help you not put all your eggs in one basket, but also complement your other businesses. And again, it's a free affiliate. You don't have to pay extra money to share this. You don't have to pay monthly fees for website, nothing like that. So we found it to be so simple. And so we're building um, an affiliate team as well. So whether you're watching this because you're interested in using the tools or both using the tools and sharing the tools, I want to introduce um, somebody that has just been like, I don't know, let's like bow down to her, right, Lacey? <laughs> um, Maria is is just been absolutely incredibly helpful through this process, as well as the whole team that they have to help train you, teach you, answer your questions, as well as help your people you bring in. So it really takes that you know, off your plate, especially if you're not like Lacey and I have said, we're not very techie. We're learning as we go. Um, and this is simplifying it. But Maria is just one of those people that just completely impressed me. And not many people do, but she's a mom of six and she's also a, a very seasoned network marketer. Um, she's been doing so amazing with My Genius Leads that the owner of the company uh, created a position for her to help out, which is a chief business officer. And she's also a master trainer for us. So I want to turn it over to you, Maria, to just kind of give some back background look at this so that our audience can kind of see these tools in action. Thank you again for being on with us. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'll just say first and foremost that the minute I saw one of these tools, which organized my messenger, I was like, I need this in my life every day. It's the best thing since sliced bread. And I say that all the time. It's one of my favorite things. But for me, a lot of it goes back to, you know, I used to do paid advertisements. It's expensive. It takes a lot of time testing different components in order to have an ad that works. Plus, ads have changed a lot. And the other part for me was that I knew it wasn't something that a lot of people in my downline would duplicate. A lot of people that maybe wanted to just use organic strategies. So years ago, I kind of set myself on a mission to figure out organic strategies in a way that were going to actually resonate with people that I was bringing into a business. So when I saw this and saw, oh my gosh, this is going to change the game completely because it automates all those tasks that a lot of people that are new coming into a company are afraid to do. And that's what I saw. I said, okay, what does somebody need to do in order to grow? They need to add new friends. They need to engage with their audience. They need to follow up. They need to keep track of people. But what happens when someone's working, say, a full-time job, like I used to, juggling tons of kids, like I have, that time is just non-existent. So spending hours and hours in Messenger, trying to find conversations, digging through profiles, then being afraid to send a, a friend request because you're like, oh, they might not need what I have. It literally removes all of that. And I could sit here talking about it for days, but I'll just show you because I know we don't want to be on here all day long with you. I don't want to waste your time. But what I've got going on here, I just opened up one group as I was scrolling through some of the groups that I belong in and saw this one with for travel, specifically all-inclusive resort deals, planning and tips. And this reminds me of a lot of people that we have at the community right now that are actually in travel. They're travel agents. And, you know, some of the testimonies that we've had with people who are first starting to use these tools, one of them was, I think they hadn't made like 19 sales within the entire year. And within three weeks, they made 19 within three weeks. There were authors who sold like 100 books within a matter of a couple of months. Like it literally can be used for anything as long as you know where your target market is hanging out. So if you can fine tune and not just go search for the first place that everybody's searching, but fine tune who it is you're trying to reach out and talk to, this tool will do it for you. It takes away the pressure of having to comb through profiles. But again, this is just an example of a travel group that I'm in. And what I can come in here and do is go click on the members. Move my little toolbar all out of the way. It's blocking me. And I'm going to scroll down to members with things in common because I want to add people that maybe have something in common with me. Oops. And I'm going to click see all. 
And now let's open this up. So now what I can do is start my tool. And I'm, whoops, I'm just going to refresh that. I just had it running somewhere else a minute ago. All right, so I'm going to click on my tool and I'm going to tell it five minutes. And this is what's also really powerful is a lot of times I would sit down to do my friend request and I would have to set aside like an hour, maybe two hours so that I could go comb through profiles to find the people that I wanted. But now, because I'm in a place where I know that everyone will resonate with the message that I have, the product services that I'm offering, I just set the timer for five minutes. And for me, I have it at 50. We don't normally tell people to do that. We tell you start at 25, but I've been doing this a long time, so I can but 25 and it's going to send out one friend request every 25 minutes. So it spaces it, spaces it out and it just kind of runs in the background for you while you continue on your business, doing whatever it else it is you need to do for the day. I'm going to click no. And then right here, if I wanted, I could actually craft a message that specifically speaks to the person that I'm reaching out to. So it might say something like, Hey, Hey friend, I noticed you in um, my suggested friends area. I take it. We have something in common. Do you also love travel? You know, something very generic like that, that would really resonate with them and start the conversation. Or I could tell them like, hey, I noticed that we're both in a, a challenge group for XYZ challenge product that's going on. I'd love to collaborate and share some, you know, tips and tricks and what you're loving, you know, whatever it is that you want to send. But otherwise, if you don't want to send a message, you don't have to send a message. So I usually don't. And then I'll click run. And then what this is going to do is it's going to start going through the members of this community and it's going to send them a friend request on my behalf. And now what that's going to do is take the pressure off of me. They can just go look at my profile and decide if they want to be friends with me or not. And then I'll put them in the next step that I do, which is, again, I have like all of my stuff done within an hour during every single morning. And then that leaves me to do whatever I need to do through the end of the day. I just sit down at the end of the day and I'm answering some messages. So now my friend requests are going out. The other thing that's happening in the morning while I'm getting started is my birthday messages are actually going out. Something that has been very, very adamant for me over all the years is making sure that I get my birthday messages out. And I know that some people are like, I don't really love birthday messages. It feels like you're just starting a conversation that feels inauthentic or, or digging for a way to bring up your product. And for me, I look at it the other way around that it's an opportunity for me to engage with people that are my friends to let them know that I care. And yes, it is going to, in fact, put my things in their newsfeed more if they are conversating with me about what they're planning to do for their birthday. It's giving me an opportunity to have a conversation and foster that relationship, build that rapport, find out more about them, more about their personality, more about what it is they're excited about for the coming year. And it's all done on autopilot. It's something that I just kind of set it and forget it. I have a birthday message that goes out three days in advance. It gets a ton of traction. The conversations are very well received. I also make a post on their wall. I send a message on their birthday and it has a really cute picture that it sends with it too. I don't want to dig through there to find it right now, but anyways, it sends pictures too. And then if people, if you want, you can even do a follow-up message to check in and that works up to seven days in advance, the day of, and seven days after. So already within like five minutes, I know that I'm going to have at least 25 friend requests going out. And I know that my birthday messages are going out and I'm going to have about 20 to 30 conversations right there as well. So the next piece of the puzzle that is, again, my favorite part of this whole entire thing is the CRM, which stands for Customer Relationship Manager. Uh, anybody here get sick of writing down names on a piece of paper or in a planner or putting it on a post-it note or transferring names to a spreadsheet, or maybe you've gone to other websites and you're trying to like, you know, use the contact management system using little reminders in your phone, like it gets daunting. It just does. And if you're seriously working your business, you're you're going to be adding at least 10 people a day, you're going to be sending out your birthday messages, you're going to be talking to your customers, talking to your team members, and you're going to try to foster relationships so that you can get to the point of seeing if they're open to taking a look at what you have. That's at least a minimum of 10 to 30 conversations every single day. What happens after 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, one year, there is no way I'm going to remember somebody that I talked to a year ago and I've already lost my notebook where I wrote their name down and the post-its I had on my window already fell down. So this is the one way that I've, the only way that I've ever found to actually organize my contacts so that I'm no longer losing track of them. So when you look at my messenger here, you can see that everybody has a label, color coded label. So I know immediately like the type of conversation that I'm going to be having with that person right off the bat. I know like, oh, this is somebody that I'm just engaging with. I don't know yet if they're a prospect for what I have. Oh, this is somebody in network marketing. This is somebody that I'm following up with biweekly. And I could take a quick glance at 
all of my contacts right here on the top of this tool. And what I've done is created a pipeline. And this has been the game changer, creating a pipeline so that I'm sorting and sifting conversations based on either when I want to talk to them again, when we last spoke or what point they're at in our conversation. So I know that before what would happen was I would go in my messenger, I would use my notebooks. We've, we've had a promo drop. We've had a special come out. We've had a new product launch. We've had this, or we've had that. And I need to go reach out to 455 people all in a day. And I'm like, how am I going to do this? So then I start scrolling my messenger. Oh, I'm going to go message this person. Oh, scroll, scroll, scroll. I'm going to go message this person. I'm using the search feature, typing in the word of the product, typing the word income, typing any keyword I could think of. And I'm circling the same people over and over again without even trying. And so I feel like I'm like hammering them with follow-up. So now I don't have that problem anymore. It's like the pressure has been completely taken off because I'm not so focused on wasting all of my time in Messenger. Whereas before it was like 18, 19 hours a day that I was working on my business. Now it's in like one. It's unbelievable. So with this, something that's really, really cool, you have the ability to send a broadcast. So like I was saying, what is saving a ton of time is because I have my people sorted so perfectly in this, this contact manager, which actually, by the way, people can come in and get a, a fully downloadable template. So you don't even have to start from scratch. You can come in and have a template that's customized and downloadable so that you actually come preloaded, ready to go. And with this now, if you see here, I had a bunch of people in my new friend folder. I had 41 people. And these were all people that I had just made connections with over the course of the last few days. And I hadn't had a chance to reach out to them yet because I've been really busy. So I created a, a message that was exactly what I would have said if I would have reached out to them anyways, to just start the conversation. So it still looked authentic. It still looked like it was me talking, but it did that initial reach out for me. That way I didn't hold myself back from like, oh, I don't know if I can talk to them. I don't know if I want to talk to them. I don't know if they're going to like me, whatever the imposter syndrome crap that comes in our minds for whoever knows what reason, 41 people it reached out to. And that took me two minutes to set that up. So then what I was able to do at the end of the day, because what happens? 41 people that you message, everyone's not in line waiting for your message every day. They get to it when they get to it. So now I can focus on maybe like the 30% who decided to open their Facebook messenger today and get to my message. Instead of focusing on the time it took me to send out 41 messages. It completely shifts your energy and completely shifts your belief and your focus on that conversation so that you don't somehow in the back of your mind have this thought of, I need to get to the point. It allows you to remain having that authentic part of your conversation and it takes off that pressure. So those are my three favorite tools, ways to get leads, unlimited, organize your messenger, all of your conversations, birthdays on autopilot. And I'll tell you, I had a friend too that she had like all of the tools in the system, but she was only using the birthdays. And she said to me, I can't even believe it because all I've had going is my birthdays and my engagement used to be like really down here. And then all of a sudden it skyrocketed and she was getting about 500 reactions to every post that she made just from working on birthdays. That's massive. And that's only like the tip of the iceberg of what this does. This is just like the basics. So we, I, I could go on all day about everything that we have, but I'm just going to show you a couple of other things that are really neat. And um, cause I know we want to try to cap this at 30 minutes. But this right here, it, does anybody do stories? Do you put stories up? Do you put polls up? Do you try to use that for engagement? I used to be really good about putting stories up. And what's really nifty about this is I like to focus on just doing polls. You have the ability with this tool right here to view all of the people that are viewing your stories. So anybody ever found where it was like super stressful or annoying trying to go in your archived stories and then view the viewers and then message someone and then go back? No longer. So with this, it, it brings up all of your users who have actually interacted with your stories. So you can go in and message them. You can download a spreadsheet. It shows you who your top engagers are so that you can go connect with them. How many stories you've posted, how many automations you've created, how many messages. It shows you your top performing stories, which ones are getting the most traction. So if you're looking at this and you're consistently putting up stories and this is tracking it for you, you're going to be able to realize, wow, this one really had a lot of feedback. I should probably do something like that again. And one thing that they're going to be coming out with this tool in particular is the ability to schedule out your stories. I don't know about you, but I could really, really use that because that's the one thing that like I have to get better at personally. I really just do. So with this being said, right here, I have a post that I had up here eight days ago. I need to sync this. It doesn't have my most recent ones, but I had a post up here and I said, call info, what's it do? And what I had set up on here was if somebody voted on my poll saying call info, it messaged a specific message just for people who wanted the call info. 
And then I messaged a specific one for people who said, what's it do? So imagine if you're trying to like create stories that are drawing an engagement, coffee, tea, right? You can message something specific to start that conversation based on what it is on whatever they voted. It only takes a few minutes to set up. One other thing would be the scheduler. What's nice about this scheduler is you'll be able to take a look at your content and at a glance. And as you can see, I haven't filled mine up yet for this month, but you'll be able to look like if you have different buckets that you're trying to fill, like maybe about me, maybe my, um, you know, mom life, maybe about, you know, things that I find inspiring product, business opportunity, they're all going to have these color coded labels. So you can see if you're posting the right type of content enough. And it lets you like auto repeat that throughout the month. So you can see when I was doing these for a demo, I had it auto schedule to repeat like every 30 days, every 40 days, every 37 days, whatever it was that I chose. And now I could have content planned like within an hour for the entire year. And what's nice about that, you can click on it and you can edit it so that you can change it. So that's the scheduler. I'd say one other thing that's really neat that a lot of people like would be the genius post. And what this does is it will actually comment on posts for you. You could use it on somebody else's post or you can use it on your own. There's a lot of ways to do this. And I'll just give you an example, like right here, you know, I made a post just talking about this Zoom that we're doing and saying like, if you're curious, like reach out for more info. Well, what I could do on this post, if people are saying, hey, can you send me info? Um, you know, info, anything that had the word info in it, I could set up a, a keyword that will trigger out messages to go to those people, sending them the information that they're requesting. So it can comment for me saying, hey, check your inbox. Hey, messaging you now. And that will actually go message them the information for me. So I've had I've had a lot of posts in the past where they've had a ton of traction. And I'm just going to stop share because I'm going to show you for now. But I've had posts in, in the past where there's been a, you know, a ton of traction on that post, a ton of comments. But it was very time consuming going through each person, be like, hey, I'll send you a message and then go ahead and send them a message. Even if I had things like in text prediction or saved in boards, it was still that extra time to go and start that initial process of the conversation. So now like it's all lifted. So that's that's it. I mean, it's like finding ways that you can work smarter versus work harder, finding ways that you can use these tools so that it still like helps you remain authentic to yourself and, and what it is that you're trying to do, but just streamline and automate those things that are time consuming. So I'm gonna pass it back to you, Gina. Thank you, Maria. And I know this was, um, you know, a little bit of information on what the tools can do, but, you know, if you are interested in utilizing any tools, just get with the person who told you about my genius leads, because there might be other tools that we could suggest based on how you use Facebook right now. Um, the other exciting thing is that this company is really innovating right now, and we are going to be moving to other platforms in the future. Um, and something that was just announced to us for the holiday time was really exciting for affiliates and for extra income. So we decided that next Thursday, same time, 11 a.m. Central, 12 p.m. Eastern, we are going to have another overview call, but we're going to really focus this on people who also want to share and see how they can benefit financially and earn income. So mark your calendar for next Thursday, same time. If you are somebody that wants to get started with the tools this week, and then also next week, get an insight of the income opportunity and the free affiliate side of this as well. So thank you for uh, joining or watching the recording. Uh, again, reach out to anybody that's uh, whoever sent you this information. So you can ask any questions that you have. We can then send you the um, website to sign up. There's different options, different price points that we can go over with you from there. So thank you again. And Lacey and Maria, thanks so much for hosting with me and we'll see you guys next week.